I want to welcome you to the Ask Jeff YouTube channel. Here's today's question. As a Christian, is it a sin to listen to motivational speeches and or music that has explicit language in them for the purposes of working out, getting pumped for a game, etc.? Well, that's a really good question because not only do I have somewhat very limited uh, athletic background, but my boys all play sports at some level. And I think we all know that whether you're one of those who's doing a, a spin session at a gym or maybe listening to just a, a podcast as you're working out, or maybe you're even at a conference for your occupation, it is so difficult to get away from language that is contrary to God's word. Ephesians 4.29 says, let no unwholesome thing come out of your mouth. So I, I get it. It's tough. And yet we live in a world where it surrounds us. Now, again, there's no perfect answer to this, but here's what I would guide whoever submitted the question to. If at all possible, I would seek out that which does not contain it. For example, uh, we're members of a streaming music service in our home, and we have the ability to turn the explicit lyrics off. Now, not all services provide that, but ours do. And we've done that with all of our phones in our family. That way, if there is a song out there that my boys or I want to work out to, that it does not contain those, quote, certain lyrics. It will either just leave them out or it drops it, etc. You know how that works. Now, here's where it gets somewhat humorous, at least in the Myers home. There is absolutely no way, unless you just turn it off, that you can avoid this kind of language while watching TV, a movie, etc. Even live sports, we've seen coaches and commentators and players drop words that they didn't have the second second drop or whatever it would be. In our home, the boys, I know they're going to make fun of us for the rest of our lives. Anytime somebody says something of that nature on our TV, my wife and I, in stereo, typically yell or say, not nice. Now, that's something we developed when they were two and three years of age. But it's kind of become a joke in our family that when we hear this, we say, not nice. And it's ironic that even when we're driving in the car, if there's a song or something or a radio commercial that has a word in it like that, even our boys will say it at times. And so, again, I think what I want to encourage the, the whoever asked the question is seek out non-explicit if possible. But I would also, I guess, encourage you to have some type of response whether it's verbally or nonverbal in your life, so that you don't allow it just to kind of soak and seep in to the point where it doesn't bother you anymore. And that's really my, my way of answering this question. It should bother us to hear these words as believers, whether we seek them out or not. We can't avoid them coming into our lives at times, but I think we need to be very conscious to respond to it in a manner to where we don't approve of it. And we, I guess, can I say spiritually stay on edge? We just want to be sharp so as not to allow that just to become a part of who we are. Remember, Jesus made it very clear in the Gospels. It's not what a man eats that makes him unclean. It's that which comes out of his heart. There are times they ate foods offered to idols they didn't know. There are times we hear language that we don't desire. It's what comes out of our heart. So hopefully we can respond appropriately. Great question. If you have one, send it to askjeff.net. And maybe your question will be tomorrow's. Thanks for being a part of today's daily question. Now, we answer a question each and every day. Please feel free to submit a new question at askjeff.net. We may not have gotten to yours today, but we eventually will continue to be a part of this. Subscribe so you don't miss out on a question every day.